Today on Suncoast View, ESPN benches 100 sports journalists. And they say it's because too many of us are cutting out cable. We'll discuss. It's Throwback Thursday, and today we're going all the way back, all the way to the 1940s to hear some jazz and swing dance. And a lot was happening here on the Suncoast seven decades ago. A local historian tells us the stories. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Veronica Brandon Miller from Goodwill, Minnesota. Oh well, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm very excited. You look lovely. Did that come from Goodwill? Yes. Did that I come from it, the 40s? It does. Yes, look like and we're that. gonna be talking about that later on, so I can't wait to, to tell you each piece. We found so much. It's been it's been very hard shopping. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. I see you have something new from Goodwill every time I see you. <laughs> Well, and it's amazing how many things haven't changed, because I know Bobeth and I talked about this yesterday, and we felt like we had to find A-line skirts. Yes. So I know that's mm -hmm. what we picked our dresses today based on A-line skirts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they've always been around, I think, pretty much in every decade. It just alters a little bit. I was in I, elementary school during the 40s, but I remember when the, they called it the new look. And I was like eight years old, and everybody was talking about the new look. It came way below your knees for skirts, mm -hmm. and, of course, a very tight waistline. Oh, see, we found both of those. Found We're doing pretty well. I'm pretty sure bright orange was not part of the picture. <laughs> but you know what? That's what I had. So Modification. We, a little. You do what you gotta do. So Veronica, I'm glad you're able to be with us because you've been doing some traveling. Yes. Tell Just, us where you've been. Um, well, geez, it's gonna be a quiz. So we took a cruise. We wanted to be in Israel on Easter Sunday. Oh, wow. okay. Uh, nice so we, we found a cruise that took us around to a bunch of places. That's actually a picture. Okay, we started in Venice. I had no idea. This is like our sixth time going to Venice. And not my Florida. No, not in Florida. <laughs> Venice, <laughs> Italy. Really? Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> and my husband goes, did you know Prosecco country is two hours from here? And I'm like, really? For all these years, we had no idea. So, so you went to Prosecco. We went, and as you can see, we've had you, many, you many one, things. Of one, two, yeah, three, Prosecco. four bottles. All righty then. That was the first stop. <laughs> <laughs> when in Italy, do as the Italians do. Exactly. And, and don't say which one was your favorite, because by the end, you're like, they were all great. They're all so good. I like them all. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm glad you had a safe trip and that you are back with us to celebrate the 40s today. Yes. Let's see who's in the kitchen. We welcome back Chef Paul from Madison uh, shaking, shaking up. up appropriate things for our 40 celebration. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cook later. Right now, it's oh. gin rickies. <laughs> gin ricky. All right, what's a ricky? Ricky is, uh, you know, you can make it with whiskey, you can make it with gin, you can probably make it with vodka, you can make anything, make anything with vodka. But it's a, it's a classic drink from back in the 40s, and um, it's just got a little fresh lime, some seltzer water, and uh, some really good spirits. And we're gonna use Bombay gin today. All right. All right. They were Dogs serious. Up in Atlanta, then in Atlanta and DeKalb County, it was dry. Oh, so you didn't get to have a gin, Ricky, in the 40s. Know anything about gin back then. We don't have that problem here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do not, and we're glad we don't. Well, we thought we'd pull some fun facts for the 40s as we look back at decades for Throwback Thursday over the next uh, few weeks. Ooh, this one was sobering right away. The average salary, less than $1,300 a year. Oh, that's a year. That's a year. I was thinking that, too. I was like, oh, that's not bad. That's only like a wow. week. Yeah, that's no, week. that would be a year. Women's average life expectancy was 60 years. Men's was 68. I think those are flip-flopped, actually. Men is 60 and women you is know 68. Women. Yes. yes. No, I know that women did live longer, as we do now. <laughs> A t-shirt in 1942, that's the first time it was introduced. Can you I imagine we'd that. be miserable? What did they wear before 1942? Formal things, I think. They didn't have that yeah. stretchy cotton. That That's was that. true. Yeah. That's true. Cotton was cotton. So it, most of your things buttoned up the front. Right, because mm. it didn't have the ability to stretch over Wait, your head. The minimum head wage? 43 cents an hour. I would die. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was like 333 when I was in high school, and that oh, seemed man. bad compared to now when we're in the $8 range, and they think that's bad. So, you know, that's I guess true. that's all what you're used to. You know, I remember, no, okay, this was the 70s, but when I started in television, I was making $400 a month, and I thought, I'm probably making more than any woman in the city. <laughs> <laughs> that was my concept of money in those and days. And you may very well have been. Well, <laughs> yeah. when you look at the headlines back from the 40s, uh, it's, it so makes me laugh for right here on the Sun Coast. 
Sarasota starts shipping celery. And you know what I thought? Oh my gosh, we actually grew celery in those celery fields at one point in time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, but it doesn't, the, the rest of us don't really never realize seen that. The We've never celery. seen the celery there. Wow. That is from January 2nd on in 1940. And this next headline is actually from April 28th. So we are practically to the date back in 1947. And you see a beauty queen, fairly scandalously Ooh. dressed, for the uh, front page of the paper and then a big tarpon fish were what was <laughs> meant to attract readers. And honestly, think about it, in the 40s, that was the only game in town to get your news, was the daily paper. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they definitely didn't have television. Not like we do now, that mm -hmm. is for sure. So fun to take a look back, and we will continue to do that as we go throughout the show and celebrate this decade of the 40s. But first, we do have some things to talk about today in our first hot topic. Some familiar faces will no longer be bringing sports updates into our homes. ESPN laid off about 100 on-air reporters and journalists this week. The reason? The cable channel has lost 10 million subscribers in recent years. More and more of us are cutting cable out of our monthly budget. Just another example of the world going digital and finding alternative means of watching TV. Anybody thinking about cutting out cable? I was shocked to see how many people have. I, I want to. I keep talking about it, but I just can't pull the plug because cable companies, they, it's just so expensive to get cable into your home. And how many of those channels oh. do you actually use? In my house, ESPN's one of them, mm -hmm. so that's one of the reasons I won't cut it. Because I of literally football. have not turned on my television all week. Really? You're not yes. a good uh -huh. example. I You're not, not helping turned, us. I have not <laughs> turned on my TV. That's why I keep saying I need to get rid of it. But the very day I want to watch something and I turn on my TV and it's not there, I'm going to be upset But at you myself. could probably watch it online if you get a smart TV and figure out how to hook yeah. it all up, which is the other thing I haven't figured out. But I really Just be sure where you're getting your news sources from because there's so much That's news true. available out there. And a lot of it, like President Trump says, is fake news. So be sure you know where you're getting your news from. But then how do you know? I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think a lot of it is fake news. I think if you're going to get your news from Twitter, that may be a problem. Look, put, look when you're in the grocery <laughs> line at the not, National Enquirer yeah, and some of those. But that's not news. I think we've, you know, but that's some a whole other conversation. That. That's true. But, but you're but still going to get news. Right. Yeah, but my, my whole thing is I think cable companies charge too much. I feel like if I didn't have a $250 cable bill, I would be more apt to say it's okay for me okay. not to watch TV every day. But that is too expensive, especially mm -hmm. for someone that doesn't use it. Well, and we have streaming. We have an app to see all mm -hmm. of our stuff. I know that my big addiction is live sports, so I don't want to see it later. I don't want it on DVR. I want it live. But I know that all those games I want are out there online live somewhere. I just need to take the time to get the smart TV to stream it into the TV. But now what the cable companies are doing is they're, they're, they're charging so much for the Internet access that it doesn't even right. make any sense because they've upped their internet um, accessibility. Cost. Yeah. yeah I so now just out. to get internet, it's almost $60, $70 just for internet alone. Right. So and I just at that point, changed. you might as well just get the cable. And I if got they so have mad. customer service, <laughs> That, that would be different. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. And they give you a landline, too, which I haven't had don't in years. Don't let anything so. break in, in your cable system. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to tell you they don't have an appointment for like two months. Exactly. Yes. Well, another reason to cut cable, Netflix. But apparently the on-demand subscriber's biggest competition isn't from other subscription services. It's from sleep. Netflix chief executive Reed Hastings says he doesn't worry about Amazon or HBO taking up his market share. He's concerned that people are prioritizing a good night's sleep and that it's cutting into valuable binge time. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Beth, you've admitted to doing some binge watching, but you're not watching right now, huh? No, so that's really why I binge, because I go so long without watching it, so then I'm back up for months, so then I just sit one day and just do everything. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have something good enough to binge on. That's I true. get bored. Uh, so if they've got something really great and I'm staying up late to watch it, wow, what a thrill that would be. And I think maybe that's the issue. You're going to fall asleep because the program isn't good. Yeah, mm. yeah. make it exciting enough we won't go to sleep. Yeah. All right. We'll tell the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon's, we'll a letter. Amazon's voice activated assistant Alexa has a new job telling you how you look in your clothes. Amazon has unveiled a hands-free camera powered by Alexa called Echo Look. It's basically a speaker with eyes. This is creepy. And it uses advanced machine learning algorithms and the advice of unidentified fashion specialists to determine which outfit looks best on you. So you stand in front of it, you take the picture, and they feed back. Amazon can also 
Go figure. Suggest new outfits that you could buy from their website. Yeah. Do All they right. answer that question? Does your butt look big? <laughs> yes. Do you want to know the answer? I, <laughs> I don't want to know the answer. I don't want. I would break the robot. I, I, I do ask my yeah. daughter, but I know she's going to lie if she wants to stay in good with me. Well, see, Alexa's like not going to lie. <laughs> she has to tell the truth. You have Alexa, don't you? I have Alexa, but I'm uh, of the other belief, too. I also am afraid of Alexa because I think <laughs> that Alexa is stalking me. In the middle of the night, Alexa will wake up and say, I don't understand that command. Can you please repeat? While you're sleeping? Yes. And oh. you're talking in your sleep. No one is talking to Alexa. Oh. You were talking no in your sleep. No one is talking to Alexa. So I was convinced that Alexa was either stalking me or someone was hacking into my Alexa system. So I have a whole nother problem. So I want to know what you say when you sleep. I just turn Alexa off. I plug it out because I know that's not normal. <laughs> would you ask Alexa how you look, though? I would. That'd be yeah, fun. Sometimes she tells you she doesn't understand that command. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And she doesn't have to be nice to you. So no, she can say she the truth. That's she's, very funny. So you know how when Siri first came out and she would say rude things or sarcastic things? Oh, she still Alexa does. does that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now that's like a game in my house to see how Siri <laughs> responds to usually inappropriate But Alexa commands. may be stalking me, side note. I'm serious. All right, so we're not going to ask Alexa. But you'd have to take your clothes off in front of Alexa if she's there in your I'm room. I'm telling you, I think Alexa's recording everything in my oh, bedroom. I believe it. I yeah, she it. could be. And She'll sure get bored in mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I wonder what Alexa thinks of down and dirty, because that's what Nordstrom's newest jeans are. You'll pay a high price for something you probably thought was free, mud. For $425, these jeans have fake caked on muddy coating, and they could be yours. The Nordstrom site describes them as a way to embody rugged Americana workwear that's seen some hard-working action and show that you're not afraid <laughs> to get down and dirty. We've seen ripped, we've seen painted, and now we've seen muddy. I guess being a hard worker and dirty is a status I can, symbol. If they want to give me the $450, I can go get some cheap jeans and go rub them in the <laughs> yeah, for them. For $5, couldn't you at Goodwill? Yeah, because I think that's them. where it's going to wind up. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like who, who would pays buy that? $400 for muddy Don't jeans? Don't you remember when Distress first came out? I mean, um, I remember my mom true. going, What'd you pay for those? Those have holes in them. Those look stupid. You know? uh -huh. I've heard the muddy ones, you can wash them all you want, they won't come out. No, right. it's, you know, it's made in there. Ugh. No. Yeah. But Strange. why would you want to look muddy? Because you've never worked Rugged. a day in your life and you want to look like you. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because the, my, my theory is this new generation doesn't have enough hard work ethic in them, so they want to look ten. like they have a hard work ethic <laughs> and buy sense. muddy jeans. So. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> That's how that's going to go. A new adorable Instagram animal has made their way into everyone's heart. I want you to meet Otitis. I know it's a strange name, but it refers to the common cat part that this fellow is missing. Otitis is named after the condition that required his ears to be surgically <laughs> removed, leaving his head completely round. He was rescued. Don't come back out of me because I'm wincing. He was <laughs> rescued, and his owner is writing a children's book Aww. about embracing differences. I, that just doesn't look okay. See? Aww. I, I don't know. think he would insult that cat, though. Oh, yeah. He looks I, like one insult, and those claws are out. He can protect yeah. himself. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I don't want to say claws. anything because I don't want to get all the animal people upset. Aww. But that's just scary. I agree. That's a Aww. little scary. But you have to embrace differences. I mean, like, I do just agree because with that. it's not what we're used to. I mean, it's just I get it. Sad. But aren't you afraid of that when you look at it? <laughs> what do you rub behind? How do you scratch your tears? <laughs> You don't rub his ears, you just rub his head. Rub his head like a, like yeah. a Buddha ball? <laughs> oh, like a Buddha belly. Yeah, 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 like a Buddha belly. Rub his head. Aww. I'd stay to the back. I don't think I want to go. I'm there. afraid that that cat is also going to be stalking you <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I see like nightmares in the that. future. <laughs> I got more things to concerns about. You may be scared of this too. So summer's on the way. When you reach for an ice cream cone, you can now grab a summer treat that shows your mood. Move over, unicorn frappuccino. We're going goth. Oh, the Los Angeles ice cream shop has created black ice cream. It's made with charcoal. So if you love rainbows and happy things, and charcoal, <laughs> this is not for you. This is soft serve that is as dark as your soul. You what should it? eat this with food. the muddy jeans. That's right. Food for your mood. And your what does it taste like? Charcoal. <laughs> well, I mean, no. I know. Oh my gosh! It oh, look at her teeth. teeth well, that, that would have Bo Beth out. Bo Beth doesn't do anything on her teeth. Look at her expression. That does not look like a happy expression. <laughs> All she needs now is the muddy jeans. Yeah, and then right. she looks like she's been working. <laughs> I don't know. In a coal mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna check out our happy hour forecast. When we come back, we are still talking about the 40s. We're gonna have a Goodwill throwback.
Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your happy hour forecast and lots of sunshine today and warm temperatures. Here's a look at what's happening currently at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. It's 84 now, but that wind has switched around now to a south-southwesterly direction. Pretty gusty too, it's 17 and the pressure 29.91 inches and that is rising slowly. The dew point temperature is way up there at 72. Get a look at some of these temperatures inland. 96 in Sebring, that's the warmest reading I can see with that in Lake Placid as well. 94 in Wachula, 92 at Mayaka City. You can see where that sea breeze has kicked in. Braden at 85, 81 in Inglewood. Northport, though, still warm, 87. And the Gulf water temperature now at that 80 degree threshold. The satellite review showing some clouds to the north of us. Not much in the offing in terms of clouds for us. We may see some patchy fog forming again tonight due to the high dew point temperatures and the clear skies, but temperatures will remain warm overnight. We're anticipating lows to be well above seasonal averages. Well, more of this heat wave coming up today. At five. I was just getting into fashion toward the end of the 40s, and it's amazing how many of those trends I saw then are still in today, like the A-line skirts and the fitted waistlines. We, in fact, can find them in our closets, at least I can. Well, our host, Veronica Brandon Miller, is here from Goodwill, Minnesota today, and I always ask you, where did you get that? And she always says, Goodwill, Minnesota. <laughs> exactly, and this was such a fun fun thing to do when you said let's do the 1940s because Goodwill Minnesota just received through SRQ magazine um, for our best antique store of the year. Oh wow, oh, fun. And in Sarasota magazine we were finalists for the best place to find antiques and shop for them. That's so wonderful. When I was doing the research it was fabulous because I learned so much and I think I'm going to buy everything <laughs> I picked up, <laughs> if I can. So um, just to go over in a nutshell exactly what Linda was talking about, the dresses did their own silhouette, had big shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. In fact, I took off the shoulder pads of this. I just thought it was weird. But it was very utility looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the really thin waist. Oh, and you're then supposed the to go like this. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And you brought us examples of dresses, and some of us are wearing them. So let's get the first model out so we can see well, what's the trend. Exactly. And let's talk about the icon okay. of the 40s. It oh, is, this is what Rosie the new. Riveter. Yes. Ah, and all right, Rosie. Oh, you go, girl. And our beautiful model is Mary LeMay, who is a Goodwill ambassador and also works at the Law Place. And she is modeling the whole outfit. Just you, like Rosie herself. Exactly. But at Goodwill... Twelve ninety nine. Oh, oh wow. really? Exactly. So nice. I like that shirt and, and anybody scarf. Anybody can wear that even now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. So could. let's go with let's. The nineteen forties had uh, an era of amazing Hollywood stars. So Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. Oh, I love Debbie Reynolds. Actually, and singing in the rain made the polka dot dress famous. Look at our beautiful model, yeah. Kelly Gardner with Goodwill Minnesota, but. You could make it look like the girl next door, or let's do a sexy pose. <laughs> I know you're going to kill me for this. There you go. And if you see, chunky jewelry was really in. Mm -hmm. So the big chunks um, of anything, you can like accent the dress. So thank and you, you so much. you can see the yeah. little waistline, the longer yeah, skirt. Right. Because skirts were much longer in the 40s. I yeah, remember well, that. she already has a tiny waistline. Oh. <laughs> so oh, the second one, Rita Hayworth. Now, okay, hello there. Hello Rita, there. Oh, here. yes. <laughs> and in her movie, The Cover Girl made some of the most biggest statements with dresses. Look at this. Now, this can easily be dressed up with a brooch right around the, mm -hmm. the, the, center. the, the uh -huh. center. Thank you. <laughs> um, put the hair up. Um, and look at the shoes. The shoes, really, back then, it, it was such a, a, an awesome time for pumps and the peekaboo. Mm -hmm. So you look fabulous. Oh, I remember those Love ankle it. straps. And my older cousins, I was too old to wear that. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Yes, wow. Yeah. Very gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Judy Garland. You know, everybody loves Judy Garland. She was the girl next door. And if you watch Meet Me in St. Louis, you're going to see lovely Stephanie dressed in a very similar dress. Now, the cap sleeves. Um, gave the illusion, especially when you wanted to go swing dancing. It, it, oh, yes. Oh, everything flowed. It yes. was just lovely. Because they did so much ballroom <laughs> dancing in right. those days. And color was important back then because everybody was so focused on the war that really fashion 
um, and Hollywood made a statement. It, it just came, um, and it made people think of something else rather than the word. Yeah, well, exactly. Different. All right. Lovely Stephanie. Lovely Stephanie. Um, but but let's talk about Ava Gardner. All right. So when we want to say hot mama. <laughs> oh, we say Bobette. Yes, we say Bobette. And they look said at this. Ava Gardner in the 40s. Well, you why not? Yes. And uh, in the movie The Killers, mm -hmm. if you recall, she wore many gorgeous long gowns that were really tight around the waist. And what became famous back then, if you see, they took material and just kind of. Just kind of gathered it. Ga exactly. Right. Like the illusion uh -huh. here, illusion at the top. Oh, and it, it looks absolutely fabulous on you. And perfect length. Oh, so wow. Cool it oh, was. it is. You were meant to be in the 40s, Bobette. <laughs> <laughs> I exactly. like to believe that. I think I was born in the wrong time or two. But I do, too. I should have born, been born 30 years later. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about Ingrid Bergman in Casablanca. Now, she, uh, if you recall in the film, she wore a lot of u um, utility kind of uh, suits. But she introduced the wrap. And if you oh, see, Linda's wearing wrap. Um, a wrap. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It In is. fact, I, I'm not going to give it away. And the hat, look at the hat. I, it's just. Stephanie said her grandma has a hat like that. Hat. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, my, uh, a lot of people can say their grandmother has a hat like this. <laughs> and of course, we have lots more. Thank you so much. Oh, so it's awesome. Everything from jewelry to antique cameras. You can find everything at Goodwill. I oh, can't yes. wait to get over there. Thank you so much. And next, we're going to have the jazz sound from the 40s with the Jazz Club of Sarasota. They're live. If you want 24-7 access to ABC 7's breaking news stories, weather forecasts, traffic alerts, health reports, Suncoast View, and more ABC 7 programming, now there's good news. Introducing the free ABC 7 channel on Amazon Fire TV. Your 24-7 access to ABC 7. Just search ABC 7 on the streaming device and download the free ABC 7 channel app. Or if you don't have an Amazon Fire TV, you can get one at Amazon.com. Introducing the all-new Alfa Romeo Giulia, a performance masterpiece. Race-inspired handling and lightning-fast response times take your drive to the next level. Find yours at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. And I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-962-4112. That's 1-800-962-4112. Call now, 1-800-962-4112. For carpet? Look no further. Minnesota Flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota Flooring today. Julia from Alfa Romeo. Appearance. Performance. Power. Find yours at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Jazz music evolved in the 1940s with the swing style turning more to bebop. And jazz is still evolving today. In today's Sounds of the Sun Coast, we welcome the Robbie Rose Trio. Take it away.
want to dance. Thank you. Way. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Well, Robbie, tell us who you brought with you today. So I have on the bass Mr. Joe Bruno, who can be heard every Sunday at Casariano's in Venice. And on the drums, I have Mr. Art Siegel, great drummer, old friend of mine, who can be heard every Saturday night at Z's right here on Main Street. Oh, well, this is amazing. You guys sound really good. But what do you think about jazz? We're talking about the fact that it started evolving in the 40s. How did it stay relevant all these years? Well, really, I think it's about love. Hmm. It's all about love. Music, you know, a lot of people fall in love to music, and I think... Great jazz is some of the most romantic music ever, particularly music of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And I think, um, and not just for people from that era, but if you look at cinema, for example, it, that's borne out, you, you see like uh, uh, romantic comedies, you know, we call yeah. chick flicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. wife it's always makes me watch. <laughs> and uh, even, even these romantic comedies that are made today in recent movies, they still have Sinatra songs and great jazz music from the 40s and 50s. You see it all the time, even, even in current. So yeah, you're, so really you're right. And in fact, you can see it at a water, uh, Jazz on the Water at a cruise coming up. So if you guys want to hear more jazz, you can get it. It's going to be on May 7th, the Jazz Cruise, Jazz on the Water. And there's the information right there. Next, a local historian is going to give us stories about the Sun Coast back in the 40s. But first, we're going to hear from the jazz band again. Thanks for having us. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. I am a veteran. My victory was finding the strength to be a champion. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. At DAV, we help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory was finishing my education. My victory was getting help to put our lives back together. DAV provides veterans with a lifetime of support. My victory is being there for my family. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. ABC7, My Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch My Suncoast News wherever you are. On our live stream, on our newly redesigned MySuncoast.com, and a brand new ABC7 My Suncoast app, powered by the Eye Associates, providing sight for life, featuring traffic maps and live radar, and dining with recipes and all the hottest Suncoast restaurants. Visit MySuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab to download the ABC7 My Suncoast app for iOS and Android. Two years ago, my son was born. Now he's running, playing, and learning to speak. When I look at him, I can't help but to see how free he is. I want my son to have the same freedom when he grows up. Protect our freedom of speech, not just for us, but for the future generations. When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night.
Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're celebrating Throwback Thursday, and we're going to throw it back to the kitchen to ch check in with Chef Paul from Madison's, and we caught him sampling <laughs> oh. his gin rickies. We want to catch you cooking. Qu quality control. For, okay. We're going right, to have those later. Making sure it's good. What are we making today? But first, we're going to cook a, uh, we're going to do halibut today. We're going to put a little fennel, fennel pollen crust on the outside of the halibut. Ooh. We're going to do a little yellow tomato butter, and we're going to serve it with a hash with a little um, crab meat and some uh, Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Sounds and then good. a little orange truffle vinaigrette. And I think hash would be decade appropriate for the 40s. There so we go. will talk more about that. There All right, sounds good, Paul. Linda? Well, the 40s was not an easy time in history. The nation was recovering from the Great Depression and entering wartime. But our Suncoast beaches and warm breezes still beckon people to come here. Jeff LaHerd is an author and a historian who has studied Sarasota over all the years, and he knows exactly what was going on here 70 years ago. Jeff, you were so lucky that you were able to look back on all of this, so much of it we don't even know about. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's been so long ago, but of course the big news was World War II, and Sarasota played a significant role in World War II because we were a training grounds for the Army Air Force. Oh. And we had 3,500 men training here and another 3,800 training in Venice. So they got to know this area well. Yeah, for most of them, they probably never be to, have been to Florida, you know, and they come from these small towns and they come to this place, it must have been like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and some of them Heaven. came, moved here when they came oh, back, absolutely. right? Absolutely, a lot of them did because, you know, here we have so much to offer, then they go to World War II and the only good memories they've had is being in Sarasota, mm -hmm. I mean, their last memories of America. So a lot of them did come back here. And we're very happy to have them. Let's look back at some of the sure. pictures from those years. Now what tell me this? about this one. Now that was uh, one of Sarasota's most popular hotels. It was a seasonal hotel in the 40s and it was built as the uh, El Bernona by uh, Owen Burns in 1926. And then John Ringling acquired it a few years later and after he died, his nephew took it over and imbued it with the uh, trappings of the circus. So it was really one of the more popular places in town. They would have circus acts in the, inter in the dining room, and they had a lounge called the Toto Room Lounge, and that was one of the most popular watering holes in Sarasota. I heard there was a baby elephant in the dining room. Was that true? <laughs> I never heard that. <laughs> but there was a horse that pr Captain Hire had his horse, Starless Knight, act in the dining room, ah. prancing around. Somebody had been drinking and they thought it was an elephant. <laughs> yeah, well, you had to be careful where you stepped. There's the circus now. It was in town in the 40s? Right. It moved to town in December of 1927 because of the land bus. Ringling wanted to attract people here because he had a lot of property to sell. So it opened on what was then Oriente Road, where uh, Glen Oak subdivision is today. Oh, wow. And for a number of years, it was the number one tourist attraction in the state. Now, what is this? Now, this is an annual blessing of the trains. That's Monsignor Elslander standing on the ground with his two altar boys, and then that's John Ringling North, who was president of the circus at that time. So they got blessed every time every, they went away? Every year they would get blessed before they went away. I think I just heard the circus train go by. I know. <laughs> Those were wonderful days because when they landed in town, they spread out, didn't they? Oh, yeah, absolutely they did. It was a real boost to the economy, too. I was two years old then, so I, I didn't really hear a lot, but I did know the circus was in Sarasota. Yeah, uh -huh. My parents thought that was a really big thing. Now, this is Lido Casino. Right, this is probably the most storied place in Sarasota's history. It was a Works Progress Administration building that was designed by Ralph Twitchell, and it opened in 1940, and this was the favorite place for the soldiers to go on their leaves. Go figure. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine, like, these small-town people, and this was a just a beautiful Art Deco place, and it was... Uh, but no gambling. No gambling. They used it for social events, cultural events, political rallies, proms were held there. They had Rudy Bundy, the Rudy Bundy Orchestra played there. It was a great place. And what's there now? The Humble Pavilion is in this place oh, okay. right now. Uh, that's sure. where the yeah. pavilion is, the dressing rooms yeah. and so forth. Now that's the, the casino at its height. Oh, look, look at that person that in the jumping. air. Yeah, that's, they had a high dive and a low dive. And while it doesn't look like much now, when I was a kid, that high dive looked like the tallest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're afraid to go off of it, or at least I was. Now what is that? 
Now this is Lower Main Street as it would have looked in the 1940s. You know, if you came to Sarasota in 1925 and came back about 35 years later, you basically came back to the same town. Mm. Oh, it didn't change much then. It didn't a long, change hardly at all time. because of the real estate crash and uh, you know the Great Depression that, and the war. That looks baseball like a baseball diamond. Here, right? Oh yeah, baseball was big here since 1924. The New York Giants came, and they stayed three years. And their manager, John J. McGraw. Uh, lost out in Florida real estate. A lot of people invested in his land and they went bust. So he decided it was prudent not to come back anymore. So they brought the Boston Red Sox in in 1933 and they stayed through uh, 1958. Okay. And oh look at this. The Sarasota That's Army the Sarasota Airfield? Army Airfield. Yeah, it started out as I said it held 3,500 trainees. And it started out being a training base for B-17 bombers, but the runways proved inadequate, so uh, they changed it to a fighter training base. And uh, in Tampa, when they were training pilots, they had an expression, a plane a day in Tampa Bay, <laughs> because they'd have these crashes. Sarasota oh. had a couple of them, wow. and that's when they switched over to fighter planes. Okay. Oh, look, I remember drive-ins. Oh, yeah. My mother wouldn't <laughs> let me go. <laughs> well, when I, this opened in the late 40s. When I used to go there, my father had an Oldsmobile 88 that had the trunk the size of a car itself. So we would put four people in the trunk, and then somebody would drive through, give the guy 50 cents or whatever, and then pull in. <laughs> and, and everybody, everybody get, out? get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> All the good. Yes, thank indeed. you so much, oh, thank Jeff. You for having me. That was really fun. Now we're going to be dancing, doing some of the oh. dances from the 40s. Good. Bobette is going to be there doing that. Yeah. <laughs> She's my stand-in. We'll be right back. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. It's the season of savings right now during the spring clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Over 100 standard and available safety features make the new Chrysler Pacifica a safe investment for any family. And right now, you can own one for just $24,999. Or get one of America's longest-lasting pickups and save up to $11,000 on a new Ram Crew Cab. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what we're working on right now for 5 o'clock. Another airline incident, why a Delta plane was forced to go back to the gate after a passenger got up to use the bathroom. Plus, some furry friends running around the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. A wildlife expert is called in to remove a family of foxes. Going to check on our weather now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob. Scott, starting to feel a lot like summer in inland locations right now. Mid to upper 90s near record breaking highs. Uh, we have that sea breeze, which has kept things a little bit cooler and a little bit more sane near the coast. Uh, right now, it's, uh, 85 degrees in Braden and 84 in Sarasota, Venice at 85 and Palmetto 86. But uh, 96 in Wachula right now, 97 in Sebring and 93 in Arcadia. So, yes, record breaking highs are in store for us uh, for tomorrow again. And looks as though it will feel very warm and muggy through the night. Forecast at 5. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. My name is Luke Perry, and I am 1 million strong. I'm in the fight against colorectal cancer because I believe we can win it. Colon and rectal cancers are the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable. Know the risk factors and make sure to get screened. There are simple take-home options available. Take control of your health. Screening for colon cancer isn't embarrassing. It can be life-saving. To find out more about your options, visit fightcrc.org. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wannabe Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. And I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her. It's a wonderful thing. 
Thank you. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-962-4112. That's 1-800-962-4112. Call now, 1-800-962-4112. The 40s was a time for jazz, tap, and swing, and each had their own unique style and rhythm. And here to teach us some of the basics is Tia and Tim from the Fred Astaire Dance Studio in Sarasota. Well, welcome, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So when you know you're talking about jazz and you're talking about swinging, you always think there are specific movements you have to do. Unlike today, now you just kind of move with the beat. You know, tell me how you know things were a little different back then. Well, swing as we know it today encompasses a lot of different styles of dance, the jitterbug, the lindy hop, there's over 20 probably. Back then it actually referred to a type of jazz music which was uh, created in Harlem, New York in the late 20s. So the moves that were done to that style of music were a combination of um, Charleston, um, Say foxtrot, and foxtrot African stats. folk dancing. Mm -hmm. No, it was more free. Oh, okay. And as it developed into the 30s and into the 40s, it became what we know today: the jitterbug, the East Coast swing, West Coast swing. Well, enough talking. We want to see you guys do it. So, Perfect. can you show us? Right. Sure. So, there's some basic steps that were kind of iconic for it. So, we're just gonna do it. So, we have the basic step: two, one, two. That doesn't seem basic. <laughs> no. Yeah. There's no fake in this one. Yeah, what happened to one, two, one, two, three? You guys are moving. There's some four in there. Ah. <laughs> well, this is a single time swing, which would have been popular in the 40s. A single time swing. Single they time. referred to this kind of like jitterbug because everybody looked like little bugs. Yes. Hopping uh, around on the floor. Jitterbug was popular when I was in high school. How fun to do it, though. It it's, is a lot of fun. One of my favorite dances. But you had to learn, right? Yeah. Like, I couldn't just show up and do this. Yeah. There's specific yes. steps. Yeah. Very specific, yes. Wow. But it stays with kind of that six feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so of course, you know, we're brave here. We'll like to learn we'll a little try? bit. Yes. A so, little bit. <laughs> a little, <laughs> a little bit. bit. Yeah. All right, so can you give us a quick lesson? What's sure. the first step? We're going to start with the right foot. You're just going to basically march in place. Right, now left, and then rock, step. Right, left, rock, step. Right, left, rock, step. Right, left. Rock step, we got rock that. Step. They already have this. They're pros. <laughs> rock step. Very good. Right. As long as we stay in place, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> but this actually maintains the whole time while you're doing all the turning and fancy stuff. This is the same Ooh. thing that happens all the time, right hey, here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. All right. So can we add another movement to it? See if, see if we can get. Sure. Three. We could do an underarm turn. Right step, turn. Right. So yes, we're going to do the same thing. Let's start right foot, right, right. Left. left. Rock step. Now we're going to turn to the right. Right, left, rock step. Very good. Okay. I have to okay. my right from my left. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll try that again. We have this one. right, left, rock step. Right, left, rock step. That'll be the first part of a turn. All right. Uh, one, one, uh, one, and let's see if we can do it. Ready? Okay. And right, oh, I forgot. Left, Start. rock step. <laughs> right, left, <laughs> rock step. Yeah. So we're halfway around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Now we're showing our butts. Back. All right, well, I don't think we did as good as you guys can, so we're going to actually let you do the whole thing again for us so we can see how it actually should look. Right. But this we can get halfway the there. Yeah. yeah. A little bit harder, so we're going to do what's called the triple step. Okay. Because the swing went from that six count to now actually adding the same beat, just a syncopation in there. Okay. Triple step, triple step. Wow. Wow, that is that fast. Is wow. Oh, pretty. And she, it does a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't look like our turns. <laughs> All right, well, you guys keep dancing because we love to see this. But you guys can see more of this great dancing at the Fred Astaire Spring Showcase that's coming up. And that's going to be just right around the corner. So you can go to their website for more information. And then when we come back, we'll get to see more of the dances. All right, we'll be right back. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. 
Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is rated the number one car brand in safety. And all Subaru models with EyeSight are a 2017 IIHS top safety pick. And you can lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester, for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assistance assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Welcome back. We got a fun email from Marie. She says those red boots were too much talking about the Sun Coast view on Wednesday. We saw the show last night and loved it. Well, the show she's talking about kinky boots. Look closely at Bobeth. Look even more closely at Joey. Those big red boots, of course, appropriately named for the show at the Van Wazel all this week. It runs through April 30th, and for tickets, you can go to vanwazel.org. And I've heard great things about the show as well. I know yes. Linda and Joey headed there for the weekend. Going tonight. Can't wait to see it. And the boots were hard to get on. They were hard. <laughs> and then they were so high, they go all the way to your thighs. Yeah, mine was <laughs> higher than my thighs. Hip high. <laughs> Very fun. So that was a great experience. We appreciate the Van Wazel letting us try on the kinky boots. Also, we gave some clues about Field Trip Friday that we'll be crossing a bridge and that our field trip this week has some bite. Well, guess what? One of our viewers already figured it out. Really? Sugar wrote in with their guess that I think your field trip Friday is to Moat Marine. And Sugar, oh, you're right. you are correct. Which wow. one of you girls went to Moat Marine? I went to me. Moat Marine. Oh, you got yes, to go. it was awesome. All right. Oh, I learned so much. So much. Well, you you're going to teach us about it tomorrow. Uh, you, you need to know this about the sex life of an alligator. Oh, <laughs> all right. I understand they're pretty frisky this time of year. Something yes, to look they forward are. to. We're going to be frisky after we head to the kitchen and join Chef Paul with some gin rickies. Stay with us. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate. Or shop at Goodwill. I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. From our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. 
Hello, I'm Haley Wilkes. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. Controversy surrounding a popular Netflix series. Why some schools are now warning parents about the show 13 Reasons Why. And now taking a quick look at Suncoast Traffic Watch. No major accidents to report that at this time. Roadways are looking clear except for some minor congestion in usual areas along I-75 northbound and along US-41. Now let's head over to Bob. Thanks, Haley. A hot day today, especially if you're away from the beaches or uh, right now into the mid 90s there, even some upper 90s near the coast and not too uh, terrible in mid 80s for the most part up and down the area beaches. 81 though, Anna Maria, 81 in Minnesota Beach and 86 in Northport. You can see that little yellow area right there. That's all where the sea breeze has made its way inland. East of that though, temperatures are up there into the low to mid 90s at this hour. Well, more in this heat wave and weather rain is in the forecast today at 5. See you then. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. I took my first handful of pills, and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. I witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point your way. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Coming up Friday at 4 on Suncoast View, Sarasota's in the Hollywood spotlight this weekend. We'll join actor and director Dylan McDermott at the Sunscreen Film Festival as he unveils his new series that's produced right here by Ringling on the Suncoast. And it's Field Trip Friday. We'll begin at Moat Marine, plus an unusual bus you might see driving around the Suncoast. We'll tell you why. And Cafe Barboso joins us in the kitchen. Welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Chef Paul from Madison's. Everything <laughs> smells so good. Mm. I see you're busy you're over there. Kind of a sexy voice. Yeah, did you see? I tried the sexy voice. <laughs> I'm wearing the sexy dress, sexy voice. <laughs> so we're making a little vinaigrette. Kind of jumped onto things here a little bit, which has uh, some orange, uh, a little bit of honey, and uh, I'm going to add some truffle. Oh, that's always good. A little black truffle. Always good there. And a little touch of truffle oil. Well, you are fast. Yeah. It's got it made. Is that all? Or more things? Uh, no, and then we'll finish it with um, with a little uh, uh, blended olive oil. So we're just making a little vinaigrette, but a truffle vinaigrette, a little honey. Mm -hmm. And um, that's going to kind of finish our fish. Mm -hmm. So we get that done and out of the way. I'll put you in charge. Okay. Of the way. Keep, <laughs> once in a while, stir that. Okay, every once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then on the, uh, on the fish itself, we're using uh, halibut today. So we got a little salt and pepper, and then we're going to use a little fennel pollen. Oh, this yeah. is a great 
wonderful spice. Oh, this that's comes a pretty from the good bit of fennel powder. Oh, it's <laughs> so nice. It's so nice, and that comes right from the uh, um, the flowers of the fennel. So like the little uh, fiori di finocchio, they call it in, in Italy, which is the little the little flower off the top of the fennel plant. Am I in your oh. way? Do you no, you are in the, exactly <laughs> the right spot. We're also going to make a little hash. So I've got uh, some uh, potatoes, which have been blanched already, and um, we're going to add a little onion. Let me get those sautéing just a little bit. Blanched means washed in, white, in water? Um, cooked in water. So, okay, so, water. so dropped in boiling water, cook them until they they're start to get soft, and then uh, remove them, kind of get them, them partially cooked so that hash can all start to, to come together. It's a long time. Yeah. Huh. And, then, uh, and then some Brussels sprouts. We're taking some Brussels sprouts and just shave them. Yeah. So we put a little bit of those. Okay, you got a good Brussels idea sprouts. for hash. Yeah. And, uh, and then some a little more olive oil, keep it nice and moist, a little salt and pepper. And that'll be our hash under the fish. And then the last part of the dish, there's a lot of components in this dish, yeah, but the last are. part of it is um, a little tomato butter. And what I did was took some yellow tomatoes and just kind of stewed yellow them. Yellow tomatoes. Cooked oh. those real slowly with some shallots, a little touch of garlic, some salt and pepper, and just let it cook down almost for about an hour in the pan. Just stewed it till it was nice and tender. Ate it and stirred a little cold butter into the end to finish it. It smells mm. amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How long does the halibut stay on each side? Um, well, you want to crust it first, and then give it, oh. give it a flip over. And then it can either, uh, you can stop at that point, like if you're preparing a dinner party, get it seared off, get it ready to go. And then when it's time for dinner, you can pop it into the oven to finish cooking the fish. Oh, okay. Or um, with the thickness of what that is, if we just keep going in the pan over medium heat, it's going to cook in about five, six minutes. Oh, five or six minutes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, so it'll be fine. Yeah. And when so, we incorporated the 40s, you said it was the hash that was kind of the throwback? It, then the Gin Ricky, I think. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's yeah. the Gin Ricky. That was Maybe definitely fun. This. So. Yeah, it's a real refreshing drink, and, and I've seen it made with whiskey or other spirits, but, um, but uh, really, just take a half a lime and squeeze that, get all that juice out of that lime, some ice, little seltzer water, and, and whatever your favorite It's a spirit perfect is. Florida yeah. drink, because it's very it's light. Very, refreshing. Mm -hmm. very light and refreshing with the fresh citrus, too. Yeah, almost like a gin and tonic, but not that uh, quinine-y flavor, a little more. Right. Yeah. Just a fresh, fresh lime, a little more. Uh, we light. like the way it's you like think. It's like a lemonade. Mm. <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> with a kick. There you go. With a kick. All right, well, yeah. Chef Paul's going to do some plating here with the fennel oh, crusted pretty. halibut. We'll There's also a, a yellow tomato butter and uh, some Brussels sprout hat underneath. Fish. So, yeah. Wow. Very creative that and gorgeous. Beautiful. We love that. Veronica, thanks so much for helping us with the 40s. The oh. Goodwill fashions were so, so fun. It was great. Thanks for having me. We appreciate you being here. And Chef, is this on a menu at one of Madison's restaurants? Uh, this is going to be a special on Mother's Day at Madison's Oh, oh, oh all right. Yeah, well, if dinner. Mom likes Perfect. fish, we highly recommend the halibut. It looks great. Thanks yeah. for joining us, Chef. You're welcome. Well, Mom wow. might like a gin Ricky as well, by the way. Mom <laughs> does like to relax on Mother's Day, which, of course, is right around the corner. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Thank Cheers. you very much. Take some time. Hope you enjoyed our Throwback Thursday. Next, we head to the 50s next week. Take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Thanks.